Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Hartenfeller, product lead at United Codes, and today we're gonna look at one of our free plugins and that quickly enables you to do drag and drop in Apex. So let's get started. So I prepared this small demo app here with uh, Formula One drivers. They are in in the order that's not representing the current uh, standings. We would like to reorder them in a nice way and drag and drop, just dragging Lando to position two, for example, would be really nice to have in this app. So let's add that. So I'm in page designer now, and this is just a classic report with my query. See that I have um, an order by clause here, order by sequence. So I have a sequence column that um, does store a numerical order. And um, first what we're gonna need is actually a point where we can start dragging. So I'm gonna create a virtual column here, add the first position here, change that to plain text. And then I'm gonna add a small um, icon here. And it's an exchange icon, but rotated. And I give it a color and what you can see now it's yeah it's basically implies that you could drag and drop here currently my cursor is not really changing anything so what we can do is we can add a small css on this uh, icon class so for example we can just go into here and inline at dot fr exchange and then we can say cursor grab let's see how this looks so now we have this uh, grab symbol which makes it even more clear that we can do an action here of course we can't do anything yet so let's go back and then you need to import our plugin um it's really easy you can just go to plugins and then you can and um, import it here i already have done it so we're ready to go so back on the page, what we can do here is on page load, create a dynamic action, call that drag and drop in here. We can then say action and change it to our UC drag and drop effect here. And then first thing we're gonna do is select the mode. So we have sort and swap. Sort is basically uh, what we want when we drag somebody higher up, it's going to play be placed between the tools we're dragging into, where swap, we, we swap it position. So for example, if I drag the seventh position in the first, then the first would also go into the sev seventh position. So I'm keep it at sort, that's fitting for us. Affected elements, I'm going to select our classic report. And now a little bit more advanced here that we have this JavaScript function can see if we select help here, a lot of stuff is going on. I'm going to make this quick um, and paste this function here. So what we're gonna do is group selector. And this is basically a jQuery selector or CSS selector on the parent element that um, includes all the things we want to be able to drag and drop. In our case, this is our um, table report tbody keep in mind we already like selected um, our affected element region so we already pinpointed to our classic report instance and in here so this is just starting from this classic report we go to the table element t report body t body so basically the table body item selector is basically which of the items we want to drag and drop we want to drag and drop each row so it's tr for table row the handle where we want to start the drop it's on the f a exchange thing the icon we added here so this this thing here and then we need to know like which positions the item are and for that we need like a primary key of our row that's a data id function so for that we get the item the currently dragged and we return query selector and when we go to the um to the field with the headers Amp no, but in actually that's wrong. In our case, we have this driver ID. This is our primary key. So let's fix that. So that's basically uh, how to do it for a classic report. If you have an interactive report, it's a little bit different, but I have an example for that too. But yeah, we go to the, the cell basically that has 
the headers of driver ID. So it just includes the ID. So basically this or this. Then let's test this out, run the page. And we can see already, I can click now. It has like this outline. And then when I start, you can see this nice animation and I can move Carlos to second position and Oscar to first. So this is already working great. But the thing is, if I refresh, we haven't saved anything. So it's back to where we started. So how we can we persist these changes? Also in the plugin here, we have this drop action field. We first have like execute PLSQL code and JavaScript code. JavaScript is more complex because you need to basically then handle that yourself. But with PLSQL, we can easily do an update. And so to see what's going on, we, I'm just going to paste this block here and go through with you through it. So first we have this variable here, it's called after sequence. And this basically stores the, the sequence of rows. So basically we set the driver ID as the identifier. So now it's basically one, two, three, four. And these are separated by colons. So if I go and move Lewis to first, then it would be three, one, two, four. So it's just the order of the sequence of the rows. So I'm gonna lock it, we're gonna look at it later on. And then I'm gonna use um, the super useful apex string split numbers function here. I'm gonna pass this sequence and say split by colons and then we get an array of apex d number of all the single IDs. We can just do a for loop then and um, loop through each entry and just do a single update, set the sequence to just the current index of the loop and where the driver ID is the current ID value. So um, let's check it out. So um, I gonna move Lando to second, Charles to third, Oscar to fourth. This is somewhat of the current positions and then when everything worked and I refresh, you can see that Max, Lando, Charles and Oscar is saved actually. I told you that um, I lock some debug, I also have debug enabled. So let's see what's going on in here. So we can see here we have like, this is show, this is just a page load, but this Ajax plugin is our procedure that runs when we basically let go of the drag and drop. And in here we can see the debug of this thing and if I scroll down in here you can see here this is the after sequence so it's driver one seven five eight and then the initial one and in each loop so here again we loop through this we just get okay first driver basically is the index variable of the loop is driver id one still second is now seven and then we just do the update and set the sequence just to the current um index variable here. And that's basically already it. That's how easy it is to get like drag and drop working in your app. You should definitely also check out our community plugins sample app. You also get that included in your download of this plugin that's free. And here we have more examples um, of things like here's just a list and how you can you could use the, the JavaScript messages to do some custom things. You can do sideways. This is the classic report example I showed, but we also have like an interactive report example here. So definitely check this app out. Please leave some feedback if you think this is helpful. And thank you very much for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye bye.